bunnies. Welcome to Kimtastic Bunnies Read Along. I am Mrs. Kimberly K. On today's story, we're going to read A Big Fat Enormous Lie. You heard it, A Big Fat Enormous Lie. Now, Kimtastic Bunnies, this read right here will be linked in the description for a parent or legal guardian to purchase for you to add to your collection. Come on, let's get started and read A Big Fat Enormous Lie. So you know what I need you to do. Lift those bunny ears up in the air so you can hear everything I'm saying and open those bunny eyes real wide so you can see all the beautiful illustration. Let's go ahead. Let's get started. A big, fat, enormous lie. I told a lie. A big, fat, enormous, gigantic lie. Father asked me if I ate the jar of cookies. I said no. But I did. And I told a lie. I could have told the truth. I could have said I ate the cookies. But my father would have gotten mad. And my mother would have gotten mad. And my sister. Now I'm sorry I ate them. And I'm sorry I lied. And now I'm stuck with my lie. I could talk to it. Maybe. Lie go away. Scream. I'll give you a dime. If you never come back. It's still here. Look lie. I don't want you. And I don't like you. And I can't see you. So maybe you don't assist. You don't assist. Lie, you are nothing, 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 nothing. So why are you still here? I can't see you, but I know you're getting bigger and bigger. You are enormous lie. You are enormous and gigantic, and you are a big fat. You have a mushy head and a runny nose and a budging stomach. You are ugly lie and dumb. You are the dumbest. I bet you can't spell your own name. Try it. L-Y. L-I-L-Y-E-L-I-I-I-L-Y-Y-Y. All wrong. You are L-I-E. And you're dumb. And I'm too smart for you. So how did I get stuck with you? Couldn't you go bother somebody else? Somebody really mean and rotten. Not a nice kid like me. Is that you're sitting on my stomach like that hurts. Get off. Get off. Okay, lie, I give up. Father, mother, I lied to you. I know who ate the cookies. Someone I like very much ate the cookies. He sort of ate one, and then he sort of ate another, and then he sort of ate another. He sort of ate all the cookies in the jar. Yes, I sort of ate them. Me, your son. Are you going to do anything about it, father, mother? You two will discuss it. Okay, okay. My lie has gone. Maybe it left to bother somebody else. Maybe it's halfway around the world by now. Maybe it's swimming in the ocean or marooned on a beach waiting to be rescued. Maybe it's lost in a big city or a forest wishing it hadn't left a nice kid like me. But it won't come back to me. I don't have it anymore. And that's the absolute and total truth. The end, Kimtastic Bunnies. I hope you bunnies enjoyed the story I did. That lie was just eating away at him, just eating away at him. But then I also kind of feel kind of sorry for the lie. I felt like he was a little mean to the lie, right? But the lie will just not go away until he told the truth. So that is the whole understanding of this story, bunnies. In order for a lie to go away that is eating at you, bothering you, feel like it's sitting on your stomach, making your stomach hurt, you have to tell the truth, bunnies. You have to tell the truth. So, bunnies, you already know what I need you to do. What do I need you to do, bunnies? You know what I need you to do. Come on, get on up. Get on up, Kimtastic bunnies. Come on, Kimtastic bunnies. What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time for the bunny hop. The bunny hop, the bunny hop, the bunny hop. Who can do the bunny hop? The bunny hop, the bunny hop. You can do the bunny hop. See you at the next read along, Kimtastic Bunnies.